Blood Curse or Teludara, I guess is how it's pronounced. Probably not. Miniseries review. So this is from 2023, and as far as I can tell, it is a miniseries, not a show. There is currently one season of 10 episodes. As far as I'm able to tell, that's all there is going to be. And certainly, it is not necessary to include more. The By the end of this, the major conflicts have been resolved. So, yeah, I'm going to start by telling you this was a show that I absolutely loved. This is what it will have some jokes, none of the expensive members of the minorities, and I will get into some serious topics. I realize this video is long, I'm doing what I can to make it worth your time. Uh, let's see, this is... This video is only going to be a spoiler-free review. I have done videos talking spoilers, one for each episode, and the link to the playlist with all those videos will be in the description box. So I'm almost definitely not going to spoil anything in this video. If I end up deciding over the course of the video that I do want to spoil something, I'm going to verbally warn for I do so and hold up an index finger so you can mute and skip ahead until you see me lower my index finger. And this is rated TVMA, which is the TV equivalent of an R rating. And let's, yeah, so the, the IMDb Parents Guide says moderate sex and nudity, severe violence and gore, moderate profanity, mild alcohol, drugs, and smoking, and severe, frightening, and intense scenes. And that is definitely, if you're one of those people who, like, if when you hear there's going to be gore in this, if you, if you even for a second think, how much though, is it too much? It's too much. There's a lot. This is, you know, this is a great place to go if you really, really want. There's other strengths to it, but there is some very intense, very visceral horror in this. Lots of gore and violence. The, the you know really the the show. I don't think there's any episode of the show that goes for a huge amount of time without including at least some, and they tend to make sure it's happening to someone that you know at least a little bit about that you somewhat care about. There are some exceptions. There are times where something's happening to someone that you don't yet really have a connection to. Now. The let's see. Yeah. Um, for those who are unaware, while I am an atheist t today, it's more important for me to be secularist. I've never believed in any religion, but I do hold Islam in higher regard than Christianity. I've never been Islamophobic, and the reason for that is simple. I actually know Muslims. When I was a child, my father taught Muslim immigrants to Denmark, which is where we live, Danish. Sometimes I would sit in on class during night lessons, easier than a babysitter, I think, and sometimes after class, these adult Muslims would come up to me and just be very kind and sweet to me, not to curry favor with my father, who's polite to you regardless, but just because they're good people. Nothing I say in this video, or any video of mine, is intended to make Islam out to be worse than Christianity. My criticisms of, of this show are not based on it being a Muslim production. They are things that I criticize about Christian movies and shows as well. So, the... let's see... yes! <coughs> hmm. According to, to a Google search I did, Indonesia is ranked 6th in countries with the most slaves, and something else I, I found online, it has the 10th highest prevalence of modern slavery in the region. Vulnerability is driven by discrimination against minority groups and poverty. And the, the show does appear to take issue with slavery, the you know the the yeah there's there's in general criticism of 
various aspects of capitalism. And it's a very... Like, the, the show does a good job of exploring various social issues and just... Yeah. Um, yes. And the... Yeah, so briefly about the... This has a very, very impactful intro sequence. Like, that's, you know, that is the very first place that you see some of the really, like, effective horror stuff. And, yeah, just, you know, dark, moody, really sets an atmosphere from right away. And just, yeah, really, really well done. So the season opener is quite strong. They do a really good job establishing the a lot of the major characters, their interpersonal relationships, the the current situation. You know, you'll you'll know by the end of the first episode if the show is for you. If the first episode really does not work for you, the show's just not for you. And that, you know, that's fine. That doesn't have to mean anything bad. The finale is quite strong as well, and uh, yeah, as already mentioned, it resolves the, the overall conflicts, which I'm really glad that shows today are doing that. Um, I remember when shows would try to throw in, it still happens sometimes, but when I was growing up, a lot of TV shows, if even if they knew, ah, uh, we're probably not going to get another season, what if we throw in a cliffhanger to really make everybody angry that there's not going to be more of it. Instead of just resolving it and, you know, just maybe hoping that you'll still, you know, you might still get another season. You know, happened with the Prison Break, even though it took, what, eight years. But, you know, but no, it, it resolves everything and there are some very effective reveals in the, in the finale. And this definitely the 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 backstory is is gripping here, and I think that is what I have to say about the finale. And let's, oops, there we go. So so yeah, um, there's a lot of visceral horror maggots and food, centipedes and mouths, and this is really early in the first episode. And over the course of the show, there gets to be more variety of gruesome horror. The show never really stops getting a strong reaction based on the horrifying stuff it shows, and that we hear on the show. I do think it would have been... I think it would have been very good if the, the variety came into it slightly earlier than it does, but... They do get a, you know, yeah, they get a lot of mileage out of the stuff that had been there until then. And, uh, yeah, we, we gradually realize more details about the horrible thing going on in the slow drip feed of information. I just realized I didn't talk about the plot at all. Um, yes, so briefly about the plot. Let's see, the, yeah, um... Various really messed up things are are happening to the families of two people, and they try to find out what is behind this, who or what is behind this. I'm not certain if the show was made with the intent to also appeal to us Westerners. I definitely don't think that anyone should feel forced to appeal you know, to, to I, I think you should be allowed to tell the stories that you want in ways you feel that feels right to you. I don't think that Indonesian culture is inherently lesser than Western culture. So the following is meant as observation. I'm not saying that the following makes it better than if they hadn't made it like this. In in some of the earlier episodes, there's not that much that couldn't also have been in a Western produced story. You know, they like according to census data, uh, slightly under 10% of Indonesia is Christian. It is overwhelmingly Muslim, and 
the, a lot of the characters don't really talk about their Muslim faith. Uh, like the the closest they come is mentioning that to get lamb chops you have to order them from far away rather than just walk down to the butchers or a mole or something. And see. Uh, there are a number of things that make it work for that. The families we see are clearly close and try to take care of each other. There's a certain perception. It's, it tends to be false in the Western world that Muslims don't care that much about the individual family members as much as whether or not something individual family members do brings shame to the family. And that They're very judgmental when it comes to stuff like, for example, calling off a wedding that had been planned, which is something that one of our leads deal is dealing with and no one in the family is really shown to, to judge her for it but again you know I've known Muslims I, I don't have contact with most of them anymore but the not not you know it's not that something bad happened but the the yeah um, the the they're they're very loving towards family members and let's see yeah there's a focus among the characters on succeeding under capitalism making money doing well in school at tests and it's stuff like skills that make you a useful worker drone rather than like quran study like later in the show there there is like quran study and there's a a young woman who covers her her hair when she leaves the house, uh, you know, st stuff like that, but yeah, there's, in in early episodes, there there wasn't a lot that stood out to me, at least, as something that's like, okay, that's a Muslim culture thing, and the, let's see, yeah, um, most of the characters, when we first meet them, seem to be good people, we, you know, we want to see good things happen to them, the horror hits harder than if they were like openly obnoxious or something and over the course of the show you do realize that appearances can be deceiving some of the people that you thought were good you know they have some very unpleasant secrets a non-zero amount of times we will be watching someone happy enjoying something positive maybe it's even food or you know, maybe we're seeing delicious food about to be enjoyed, and then it smash cuts to something disgusting, like a nasty bug or rotting animal, that kind of thing. Some of the most prominent characters are women, some of them in their 20s or 30s, others middle-aged, and they're treated with sympathy by the narrative, not always by other characters. They're not just there to serve as misogynistic stereotypes, slowing down men, annoying them. They drive the plot and contribute a lot to the investigation, the handling of the situation they find themselves in. And, yeah, our protagonist is Wulan, and her father makes a lot of bad jokes so I guess that is a universal thing very convincing effects as far as I can tell most of them are practical with a little CG which is unfortunately not always convincing but a lot of it is done with bladders makeup and like real actual bugs the the stuff that is especially some some of the CG bugs and, and such also look quite good some of the stuff that doesn't work quite as well is CG blood which you know, there's a lot of different movies and shows where CG blood just is not completely convincing. And I get it. They wanted blood in those scenes, and, like, based on what's happening on screen, it would have been, like, it would have been almost impossible for them to work it with practical. Like, essentially, they would have had to cut to close-ups of prosthetics and use, you know, fake blood there, your know, stage blood there, but, you know, the, the, yeah, there's already a lot of more complex, uh, you know, yeah, stuff with stage blood and such. And, you know, it takes a while to deal with. Like, you, you have to clean up after that if you want to do another take. Makes it, takes, makes it take a long time. The slow and gradual drip feed of information necessary for a mystery to work is sometimes a tad too slow. Uh, 
let's see, and yeah, um, I, I don't know if there was a mandate calling for the season to be 10 episodes. It doesn't always feel like that was what the screenwriters wanted. Sometimes they're kind of spinning their wheels, not accomplishing a lot in certain scenes or even entire episodes. And it's unfortunately, it's one of those things where I can't even tell you, oh, you just want to skip this, this, and this episode because there is still some stuff that you kind of really want to make sure you, you catch in, in episodes. If if you really get into the first episode, but then the next episode or two doesn't really completely work for you, try to get to at least episode five. If you watch all of episode five and you're still not interested in the last, you know, does that leave five episodes, six episodes, you know, yeah, the rest of the show is, is not going to be quite your thing. Now, uh, grieving is one of those universal and yet taboo things. We'll all do it at least once in our lives, if not for people, for pets. So it's extremely important to do it well in media, and this does a quite good job. Uh, the exploration of grief is deeply compelling, including things like the way it can lead to the forming of unusual bonds, the push-pull of sometimes being in denial and other times confronting head-on that the person you lost is never coming back. And... Yeah, and, and you know, we see how isolated the experience can can make you feel. Now I don't have a lot to say about characters. Um so I've mentioned that Wulan is the lead. She well, yeah, she has a job, she's happy with her job. There's a like and and it's you know she's it's like this investment firm you know so yeah quite modern and she is fairly skeptic when it comes to you know accepting the the supernatural which does sometimes get kind of annoying it doesn't feel like they're doing a, a misogynistic trope I think it would have been the same if the protagonist was male. It's in part because they have ten episodes to fill, and as soon as she fully accepts, okay, this is supernatural, then you, you, you know, okay, yeah, let's try to find someone, an expert on the supernatural, and, and deal with it, where until then, you know, she's talking to doctors and, you know, trying to trying to find a non-magical explanation for it. And I appreciate that that's, you know, that's a trope in supernatural horror. And, you know, as I've mentioned, I'm, I don't believe in the supernatural. I think it's the kind of thing that's easier to, it's, it's less of a problem if you have a 90 minute movie. You know, I get like, some people found that to be a very frustrating element. Of, for example, the uh, paranormal activity movies, you know, and, and certainly for some of them it was, but yeah, if you're dealing with like 90 minutes or 100 minutes of movie, it's, it's less screen time where we're waiting for them to accept what we, the audience, knew before we end, before we started watching. And and here it's several episodes before she fully accepts it, and yeah, that. Is, is slightly annoying. She is upper class, so is her entire family. They have several, you know, uh, servants working in the in the house, and the yeah, the house is clearly quite expensive. They have their own pool, you know. They they have uh, at least one driver, you know, various, and the. I think that is all that I really want to say about. It's one of those things where if I tell you very much about the characters, you're going to be able to predict some of what happens. So, yeah. So, the dialogue is slightly difficult for me to like criticize um, obviously it's in Indonesian I'm reading English subtitles so there might be stuff lost in translation but most of the time it worked quite well like there is a sense of 
they they try to make exposition flow fairly naturally and smoothly, which is good because there's a lot of it. Uh, you know, ne necessary for there's a lot of stuff that has to be explained. You know, and yeah, a lot of the dialogue it feels like this is how people talk. This is what that character would say in that situation. And yeah, it's it's filmed very well. It's very cinematic. There's even a couple of very distinct references to American filmmakers, which I thought were quite well implemented. The editing is also very, very strong. Um, the The visceral horror is very well edited because this, this is the sort of thing sort of thing like it did not feel like there was a lot of like limitations on what they could do uh, you know so yeah some of the some of the visceral horror it goes on for a little while you know there's there's minutes on end of stuff that like you know, you might have only seen a few seconds of in, like, something from the 80s, either because of, you know, restrictions on what you could show, or just the the limitations of, you know, stuff like budget, also how far, you know, special effects had, had come. Like, there was a, a huge, like... The uh, special effects near the you know like late late seventies early eighties got a, a huge boost as far as like showing gore, you know, um, and the yeah so you know there there was some of that stuff, but in more recent years it's gotten even you know yeah there's there's been more what's the word um leaps forward. Some of this appears to have been filmed in actual, like, on, on location, and they get some great authenticity out of that, and some some of the, the sets appear to have been, like, set designed, and they do a really, really great job. Every Every area that we see in this show feels like that's what that would look like. There's some really great stunts, which is, of course, that helps make it more effective when we're seeing very physical things happening. The The music is very effective, and the, the sound design is spectacular. The, the just... Yeah, the the little noises that the the bugs make, and the the yeah, the noises it makes when someone's body is doing something it definitely should not be able to do, you know, extremely effective. And that's also where some of the some of the CG is does work well. It's it's mainly the blood that's just not completely doesn't completely work. So I have already mentioned that there are there, there's one season, there's 10 episodes. The episodes tend to be between 40 and 50 minutes. So, you know, hypothetically, you could binge this, though, you know, I'm not sure I would recommend it. I watched an episode per week. I could probably have watched an episode per day if I really wanted to, but I wanted it to, to last longer. You know, if you try binging it, just be aware of the... the yeah, the gore might get to you if if you try that, and yeah. So the the best elements here are the supernatural horror, the the very like modern sensibilities, the the fact that, you know you you can sit down and watch like I can imagine like if you are very traditional, very conservative, this probably isn't you know, there's going to be stuff in this that's really going to bother you. But, yeah, for those of us who are progressive and 
you know, it's the the horror genre. There's a bit of a, a push pull between the the conservative, where you know, it's it's this kind of story of you know, of course, something bad happened. They did the wrong thing, and then progressive, which is exploring bad things, like saying why do they happen, and you know, who do they happen to? Are are the you know what what can we do to alleviate the effects kind of thing and yeah this is definitely one that yeah you know for me as a progressive this really appealed to me the worst aspect is definitely the the fact that sometimes it's spinning its wheels uh, I did not find a lot of reviews of this, so I, it's difficult for me to talk about th like what others really didn't like. There's there's one negative user review on IMDb, and I it's not making a lot of sense to me, so I don't really <sighs> yeah. Um, Okay, I guess, okay, so something, yeah, this one person thought that, let's see, yeah, they, they didn't like the, the music. I, I don't know why, and that actually, the, the one negative review was so baffling to not only me, but others, that one person specifically wrote a review, I'm just going to read the opening line. I am only writing this review because right now the only review posted is so wrong. So that's, yeah. It just, yeah. Um, there, there are some, you know, I, I do recommend reading the IMDb user reviews. Um, I see that some of them had, have, have more experience with um, Indonesian horror. And, yeah. Oh, right, I can't, I can't believe I, I forgot to mention, all of the acting was very strong. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe, like, there's a couple of parts that have, like, children in them. You know, I, I try not to judge child acting harshly, because, you know, they're, they're still children, you know. But every adult act, that came out wrong, every actor who's of age in this, is very very talented and you know the ones that have the most screen time are also ones that we really want to see more of I, I never felt like I was stuck watching people that I really didn't care to, to you know to be following which is extremely important for 10 episodes you know yeah so the thing I was most worried about was that it might be too difficult for me to get into because of cultural differences. Most of the Muslims I've met came from, like, the, the, yeah, see, this is where my, me being bad with geography really becomes a problem. So let's see, Indonesia is Southeast Asian, right. The, the Muslims I've met in person were almost all from the Middle East rather than East Asia. So there are some significant differences there. Um, but no, the, the, again, I don't think they had to, and it might not even have been like intentional. I'm, I haven't really been able to find information on how much they were hoping to make this like a phenomena in the West also you know I have watched some some French cinema that was very much made for French people you know so but but the no they they this is easy enough to to follow without like there's definitely there's a couple of things that are very like I it, they didn't make complete sense to me, and I'm guessing if you're Indonesian, it's like second nature, and that's not at all a, a problem. Now, 
the let's see yeah the thing I was but but yeah the the show exceeded my expectations the thing I was most looking forward to was seeing something I'm not used to and yeah uh, there there are some things about this that are yeah not quite like I'm used to so the yeah the season opener the season finale and the overall season are all great and I do want to make it clear, I do love every single episode of this. There's just a couple that, you know, I I wish had been, yeah, like, I wish the, the important stuff from them, since it makes up very little of the of certain individual episodes, had just been put in other episodes, and we'd had a shorter overall season. So... I am not entirely sure if the trailers give too much away. I was not able to find one that either had English subtitles or was dubbed into English. So I, I don't know what the, the words they're saying comes out to. The, the cover and poster do not give too much away and do give you a good idea of what it, yeah, what the show is like. I forget if I mentioned it, but this is on Disney Plus in certain places. It's on Hulu in America. Now, last I checked, it wasn't... But I'll, I'll give it one more check. It is not on... Maybe the original title. Yeah, it's it's... The, um, it isn't. It isn't on Rotten Tomatoes, and let's see. It does not appear to be on Metacritic under any of the names that it has. Yeah. Um, on IMDb, it has a seven point five out of ten, based on only one thousand six hundred. Um, ratings. Of those ratings, 75.8 gave it a 10 out of 10. 9% gave it 8, 6.6 .6 gave it 9, 4.2 gave it 7, 1.6 gave it 1, 1 1.3 gave it 6, 0 0.5 gave it 5, 0 0.4 gave it 4, 0 0.2 gave it 2, and 0 0.2 gave it 3. So, yeah, this was extremely well received. And let's see. Right, yeah, since there's so, so few episodes, episode 10 got an 8 out of 8. Episode 1 got a 8.4. Episode 5 got an 8.3, which, yeah, makes a lot of sense. Those are three of the best episodes. Episode 9 got an 8.2, episode 4 got an 8.0, uh, episodes 8 and 7 got a 7.9, and episodes uh, episode 2 got a 7.8, episode 3 got a 7.7. .7. Oh, uh, right, and episode 6 also got a 7.8, so yeah, very well, well received. And there are currently only four... IMDb user reviews, or three if you hide spoilers. There are five entries in the IMDb external reviews section. Um, and let's see. Is this one in English? It doesn't. Oh. Uh, the only one that might be in English is apparently the, my, my antivirus blocked it, so yeah. But yeah, two of the two of them are in Indonesian. One is Spanish, and one is Dutch. So the let's see. Oh, right, right. And the yeah. So the IMDb user reviews. Um, yeah. So the one who didn't like it, whose review doesn't make sense to me, and one uh, at least one other person, he gave it a one out. They gave it a one out of ten. But um, other than that, the other three reviewers gave it a ten, a nine, and an eight respectively and that pretty much covers so yeah 
Um, I rate this 8 black magic attacks out of 10. And to be clear, if we're just talking the couple of episodes that I thought were the very best, it would be a 10 out of 10. It loses points primarily for the, the, the couple of episodes that don't really get us, that don't really get, uh, that don't really accomplish a lot. And over the course of the show, as much as they're good at, like, I, I wouldn't really say that any one individual episode just has way too much of the fake CG blood. Over the course of 10 episodes of 40 to 50 minutes, yeah, over the overall, there is entirely too much of this CG blood. And, I mean, I guess what it comes down to, I've already explained, I do think it makes sense that they didn't do more, because they do a lot. There is a lot of stage blood, which is more convincing. I get why they didn't do more of that. So what I'm really saying is, yes, I think those scenes, and if, if you had removed maybe a third of the CG blood and just let it, let there not be blood there, honestly, I think it would have been less distracting. It would still have, it wouldn't have been perfect, but it would have been slightly less distracting. And this is the kind of thing that you should pick up as you're like, finishing your your editing you know you you really should have high quality footage that didn't have the the special effects implemented yet you know that's you know so that you can still you know and yeah the fact that they they didn't cost them you know th those are the two reasons that it doesn't get a 10 they drag it down to an 8 which is still quite respectable and I think this is the kind of thing that really just, like, if... I, th I think it just needs more people to give it a chance. Because, like, 1,600, that's not a lot for something this well-made and this recent. Like, I can understand. I, I get that, you know, on streaming services, stuff that's, like, kind of old, if people didn't grow up watching it, they're not necessarily going to give it a chance, you know. But something this recent, uh, you know, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, if I had to guess, I would say a lot of people just haven't even heard that this exists, you know. Um, yeah, I've, I discovered it pretty much just like, you know, I, I tend to check um, very frequently what Disney Plus has, you know, added. And yeah, this was on. I felt like watching horror, so I, I gave it a chance, you know. And yeah, I mean, yeah. If I haven't made that clear by this point, like if you're used to like American horror, if you just if you primarily want something that is really gory, bloody, violent, and like just yeah, largely convincing effects and and some very like intense, you know, yeah, gore and violence, yeah, this will 100% scratch that itch, and you won't feel like you need a shower afterwards with, you know, yeah, some horror, it's like, oh, wow, did I really watch that all the way to the end? I must have been really jonesing for a, a gore fix, but, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe, you know, hopefully someone will based on this video that I'm, that I'm recording right now, they'll decide to, to give it a chance. And let's see. Yeah. Um, the, yeah, hit me up in the comments. Let me know uh, what is something, is, is there other horror on Disney Plus that you you know, think I would really love, uh, you know, let me know, and, and, you know, there's a, yeah, a couple of things that I, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, real quick let you know what I'm already planning on, just so you know, so the stuff that's already, that I'm definitely going to, to get to, 
as long as you know if I if I get to it before it you know eventually all the stuff will of course leave uh, Disney Plus. But yeah, the stuff I'm I'm planning to planning on already are the strain. Uh, hold on. I could swear I had it right. Um, okay, yeah. So not Disney Plus, but also doing Ash vs. Evil Dead, The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, Connect, the the recently added Asian um, horror, Gannibal, and is there not other? Hold on, I'm gonna. I have more than one list. Right, uh, Tierra Incognita. And that might be all of it. Oh, right, right. Here we go. American Horror Story and American Horror Stories. Yeah. If you like the video, please thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little bell. There should be a link to my main channel page, one, two, or more links to stuff like a relevant playlist, a suggested video for you to watch on screen right about now. I put out one vlog per week reviewing and sharing spoiler thoughts on a movie, one talking about my spoiler thoughts on the most recent episode of A Murder at the End of the World, and, you know, starting next week, a different horror show now that I've finished this one. I usually do, I, I try to do a daily, doesn't always come out to being every single day, video on Marvel TV until I've gotten all the way through it. I'm currently taking a short break, but I will start back on that. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, currently it's looking like I will do that as soon as season two of What If has fully aired. So December 30th. So so yeah, December 31st, I'll probably get back to, to Marvel TV with, uh, yeah, starting season four of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I'm doing all of those in the order that they aired, more or less. And that, yeah, and, and you know, Murder at the End of the World, um, let's see, yeah, it's, it's this week that it, um, right on the tip of my tongue, I swear, that it ends. So then I'm going back to, I'll probably do one of the very, very few Star Wars things that are on Disney Plus that I haven't already done a video on. So, yeah, honestly, very likely it's going to be uh, young, yeah, the, the episodes left of Young Jedi Adventures, and I am also... As, yeah, and as soon as I've done that, I will probably do Ewoks and droids. And recently, the review and thoughts videos tend to come out very similar to this one, but with the thoughts in the same video instead of in a separate video, since its running time is significantly shorter than the show. In other words, if you're more videos like this, you're in luck. You can check out my back catalog as well as catch me next week. I hope you enjoyed watching as I enjoyed watching and recording, and I will catch you next time.